What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have our round 10 review. Uh, this is the first time I've looked at it, I haven't even checked the scores. I mean, I know the scores, but I haven't opened my team yet. Um, so we've gone down 65 ranks, not a great round, but a decent round. Um, top 8%, pretty mediocre for now. Um, didn't Captain Oliver, unfortunately, which was a very popular captain's pick. Um, we are currently sitting in the top 2%, which is semi-decent. Hopefully we're pushing for that top 1k, but we'll take what we can get at this point. So moving to the team, Laird, really happy with him. Looks like he's back to his best. Jake Lloyd, just really not setting the world on fire, but doing just enough. Tom Stewart, a couple of down weeks. Oh, well, that's fine for him. He's going to come down in price nicely. Come down nicely in price um, for those who don't have him and pick him up quite cheap. Really, I think it's a must-have. Pretty safe to average 100 to 105 for the rest of the year. Um, Giath, man, he killed me. He really hurt me in my matchup. Uh, that was my unique pick, and I'm one of my main unique players in my matchup, and that hurt me a lot. Um, and my opponent had Oliver Captain, so that cost me, but that's all right. We move on. Uh, Jones, 48. Pff, worried, a little bit worried about his job security now that he played a pretty average game, and Port lost. That's that's a worry. So we took Lyons as vice captain score, which I'm pretty sure you should take that, like, really. And I know it's annoying that we um, could captain Oliver, but I still think Lyons is worth a punt. Um, so we'll captain Oliver this week, or vice captain Oliver this week. Um, captain on... Uh, where's Melbourne? Oh, Melbourne play first. Fuck. True. Uh, got a feeling Gorn could go really big, but yeah, we'll probably go Vice on Gorn into Grundy, I think. Yeah. Anyway, don't know why I'm talking about captains this early in the video. Um, McRae, awesome. Really happy with that. My midfield went really big. Um, it was just the rookies that really let me know it down and Brayshaw, obviously, not having him hurt. Um, Zebel 95, yeah, he's kind of coming down a little bit now. Um, but I'm still really happy with what he's producing considering the price we paid. Zorko, I'm so happy I picked him. And same with Aaron Hall. I think they're both locks to average 100 from here on out, which is super. Impy good. Warner, I want to get rid of him, but unfortunately I can't at the moment. And Pole to 80, which was, I thought he was really underscored. I thought he played really well watching him today. Um, in terms of trading, I think obviously we still Brayshaw back on. I swear I pressed that, but anyway. Okay, so Powell and Jordan I want to get rid of. So we're going to swing Sharp via DPP. So we'll swing him in like that. And we're going to bring in that... What was his name? The, the Brisbane guy. Madden. Yeah, 78. Really happy with that. Um, I think he's got good job security. Got the DPP as well, which is handy. Um, so we'll bring him in. Uh, so him and Heimer on the back line bench. And then we're going to trade out my man, James Jordan, who I think had another role change, which is very frustrating. And let's have a look at the highest price, so 613. We can afford, who can we afford? We can afford Gussie, who's got the good first buy. Parrish has hit some unbelievable form. Five on average of 134, three on average of 133. Hmm. He's very tempting. He's really setting the world on fire. I think we're going to go with a... I'm tossing up between Fife and Guthrie at this point. Mm, and Josh Kelly, eh, 102, not quite. Tom Mitchell, gee, he's tempting, but he does have the first buy. Um, yeah, so can obviously afford a midfielder here. Petrarca's discounted. Hopper's been pretty good as a pod. Cunnington's a tempting one. No, I don't think I can trust him for the rest of the season. So I think Guthrie, what's his break even? 129. I think he's the option, to be honest. So I think we'll bring in Cam Guthrie. Ideally, we'd bring in Bont, who I think has... He's got one of the highest averages. Yeah, so we'll bring in Guthrie. And that really sort of puts the team in a good shape now. So... I don't know why the project is so damn low. Anyway. Giath... Is, oh, didn't want to open that. Giath is a really big problem at the moment. But I'm pretty happy to loop between these three. Giath, Jones, and Madden. I'm pretty happy to loop between them. And then use... Um, high more as the loophole but yeah in terms of captain options this week I think Oliver's a good option but I'm probably going to go safe with Gorn and Grundy um, yeah I think I think it's the best I mean based on form you'd have to go vice on Oliver but I think Gorn usually goes pretty big against the Bulldogs for memory 178, 139, 157 oh, 157 eh, okay 178, 139 hmm interesting anyway hopefully Brayshaw plays this week let me know what trades you guys are th uh, thinking of doing. If you're new to the channel, as always, please subscribe. 
Um, and thanks for watching. See you in the next midfielder primo targets, midfield target trade target review. <laughs> Sorry, it'd be nice if I could speak. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.